What's up guys and welcome. Today we're going over a showcase of arrogance slash review on how much he managed to improve someone's account, in this case mine of course, um, and just to see how much arrogance can actually boost someone's account on his own. And he definitely had a big impact. I wrote down every single um, chapter and raid and everything where I was at before getting arrogance. And now we're gonna get it and go and take a look how much I've come so far after getting him. But other than that, um, let's go over his stats real quick. So I maxed him out, promoted him max, loved him max, geared him up real quick. Some one like two times attack, 100% crit rate almost, and 67% crit damage. Annihilation might here on the left side. I would recommend you guys um, always go for crit set, um, crit set, just set bonuses on the left side because they're easy to obtain on the left side because you don't have to roll the right um, main stat as you can see it's just already always going to be HP and attack and therefore easier to get and also you only need two pieces for the set bonus. And um, then skills, I used all of my dust and all of my skill ups that I had to get him as far as possible. Uh, I was considering if I not if I don't get him this weekend, I will put everything into Comet. But since I got him, I put everything into Arrogance, and therefore he does a lot of damage. Awakened a zero, of course, and Scarlet Hunt artifact, so a really good artifact as well, especially if you use him with someone like Komodo or um, someone like Komodo or what else do we have? Tell me, uh, Zalazar, you know just so to increase your damage even further enough talking let's see how far we've come so first up guys void rift void rift is cleared i think i'm gonna gonna make a video on it i actually was stuck on the first boss but now i managed to pull through but big disclaimer here big disclaimer um before we we get too hyped about the, all the progress i did with arrogance Void Drift is largely due to me actually getting Oleg. Oleg is, 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 has been such a good addition in many cases for me. So Void Drift, big thumbs up to Oleg as well. But of course, Arrogance helped a lot. Wouldn't have done it without him. So Void Drift, 100%. From 30 to 100%. Next up, the Arena. I was Overlord before, but I was struggling before and the only reason i was overlord was because my comet just single-handedly won every round in aoe arena but now sustained tps arena my arrogance is actually popping and doing really well then uh before i forget it i also will showcase the guild boss how much damage he will do in the guild boss but that for later so now promotion rates <laughs> yeah not gonna lie guys I didn't uh, clear extreme 2 before I got him because I didn't have many fighters. I didn't want to build up some random fighters. Now that is clear. Artifact material rate, one of the biggest thing that is especially made for fighters or especially good for units like Arrogance. So we progressed a bit in artifact rate. Uh, let me see, let me pull up real quick my spreadsheet. Artifact rate, we were at okay okay so we cleared 13 before okay we did two stages since getting arrogance but again a big but here it was not just arrogance i built up some units um that i didn't build up before i got some better gear and uh, yeah without these units i wouldn't have done it like arrogance wouldn't have been able to solo carry it because you need a bunch of units right you need to block multiple angles in the artifact rate but Two stages advanced, now stage 16, yeah. <clears throat> Let's get to the gear rate, something special as well is gear rate 1. Um, this is pretty much the only thing that I didn't progress at all uh, ever since I got him. Because I'm at stage 19 and guys, guys, guys... The, People that are also at stage 19 know what I'm talking about. This is tough. Like I tried it and I beat, I um, wiped the floor out of these enemies. No, I did not. 
They got healed so much from the Elowin boss that I didn't manage to get one single unit down. Oh, there's that. Gear Raid 1, still the same. But Gear Raid 2, arrogance actually made a big difference. Again, big disclaimer, Oleg with it too. So Gear Raid 2, I was stuck here. I cleared stage 14, but I couldn't clear stage 15. And now I'm at stage 18. So one, two, three clears further. And that is mainly because of arrogance and also partially because of Oleg. Pump mainly because of arrogance cause the strat for gear a2 uh, for most people will be that you need two potent dps units i mean i can just play it out right and just play it out then you will see it so you need two potent dps units and then swap them around you know because you can't you cannot tank these earthquakes unless you just that you have insane healers that can tank these earthquakes and heal everyone up but my healers are not that high built up. My healers are far from that. So as you can see, first wave I cleared with um, arrogance, then took him out, and then second wave I take comet in, take uh, then earthshake comes. I take everyone out again. Then third wave again. You see, you need the second um, DPS, and you either use a platform unit or a long-range fighter. And then he needs to be able to clear this, all these units before the earthquake, so you can take these units out before earthquake. That's the key. You always need to be able to take all these units out before earthquake. Then we got him out, and now our comet is back up. It's you know one by one, one by one, and now comet does the deal. So that's quick overview on how, how you want to do it now of course we get some dog water gear as usual i did 22 runs before and i got um, 20 flat pieces by the way so yeah like i got one piece red piece mythic piece there wasn't flat sets but yeah um that about gear rate 2 gear rate 3 we actually are let me see stuck at the same place yep we're stuck at the same place because the thing is um arrogance uh, helps a lot in gear rate 3 in the middle lane right he helps a lot with the boss the thing is i have a satram built up satram in the middle lane that deals already with the boss quite well i would uh, need to build up units to to deal with the sides better so yeah satram is just doing the job for me and arrogance is helping with the boss but i don't really need help with the boss i need help with the sides if you get what i mean so gear rate three no progress and then uh, last but not least the faction ah, not lost the faction trial also no progress this is stage eight um i don't know how many people have beat it yeah 54 50 oh okay yeah, you really need a good, good lineup, strong tanks that can actually take a hit or, and take a punch or two. Because my tanks just get evaporated from these units. So yeah, basic trial still the same. And then last but not least, I kept the guild boss up for now. And let's just go into it right now, shall we? I expect he's going to be top damage dealer, especially because of his artifact as well. He's gonna be popping off, right? At least I hope so. But he should be able to just annihilate everything and anyone. So we put him here. Okay, now we only have space for one more unit, which is gonna be light lock. Okay, so we won't be able to use Cuke and our Dolores, because otherwise my team will just uh, get evaporated from the guild boss. But yeah, now before we get close into the guild boss, right, we would like to know how much damage actually we were able to do beforehand, before we used Arrogance. So quick, um, my auto run was about 2,300 bleed on the guild boss right here in one run. 
and I think we're definitely gonna overpower this with arrogance and I'm excited to see how much damage he's actually gonna deal with um, Komodo to buff him up with Leia and everything Komodo's ultimate is already back up nice bleed him up bleed him up I think the shield is about to come up right yeah perfect okay good timing on the shield there as you can see Komodo just applies the bleed yeah I'm already way ahead of the curve now with arrogance Komodo bleed my boy Komodo is really actually doing a lot of work with the bleeds by the way don't wonder if Komodo won't deal a lot of damage he's just um, in some HP gear and some uh, did I just use it? No, I timed it. Okay, he's just in HP gear and rage region. He doesn't have any damage to any creator whatsoever. He just needs to survive for the moment. Because uh, I use him in artifact raid. And in artifact raid, he just does not survive if you don't have enough HP on him. <clears throat> so we're far above the curve here. Maybe maybe 10, 10 million damage from... From arrogance, could be. I think that could that very well be possible. Okay, let's see. Okay, new high score. Quite a big increase actually in damage. And now tap to you. Yeah, about 10 million damage from Arrogance, as you can see. So he's definitely potent. He's definitely potent. The bleed application helps a lot. These treasures in the deep, I would have never a, been able to do them without Arrogance. So here we are in the artifact raid. Basically, I just placed down a uh, Arrogance at the beginning. Then Oleg and Komodo. And also lay out for the heels and then a place on the right side um, some more DPS and on top abomination and you will see arrogance did all the work here arrogance did all the work it's a quick fight because we all know you're not allowed to have a long fight here uh, if you need some tips go watch my video by the way I got some nice tips there but there we go look at the damage this is just insane so yeah, there you have it. A lot of progress been done since receiving Arrogance. But don't get it wrong, guys. It's not like he's an absolute 1v9 machine. Well, for some content he is, but um, it's not like he did everything. Like, I, I improved the gear of a lot of units. I also got some other units to help out uh, and build them up. So there you have it, guys. This is the progress I've been doing with Arrogance. He's insane, like the damage he just bumps out is crazy the utility he actually has like the way you can place him because of his range is also really nice um but don't get it wrong he's not an absolute one we nine machine it's not like i just beat the stages just because of him of course i built up other units a lot um and without them he wouldn't have done uh, much uh, progress on his own like i wouldn't have been able to progress the main points for me where I could progress due to having arrogance and some potent fighters now is uh, definitely artifact rate, but I w didn't manage to get a single stage further just building arrogance. I had to build some other fighters, so there's that. Um, gear rate 2, mainly because I didn't have a second uh, DPS that was able to wipe out the enemies before the earth shake, as you saw there with the strat. There he helped a lot and also in the limited time event here with Captain Reef that is quite fighter reliant I think or just fighters help a lot and he helped a lot in the Void Drift. So yeah there you have it guys this is my progress since receiving arrogance. Um, if you have any questions leave it down below and have a good one. I'm out. Peace.